So I recently purchased Apple's new 2020 iMac and I actually did a review episode about that, so go check that out. But that model has the glossy display. They introduced the nano texture recently into the iMac line and I wanted to give it a try for the first time. So if you're ready, let's take a look. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Crazy Ken, and this is a 2020 iMac sitting right here with the nano texture glass. So as you can see, I have not popped the cherry on this thing yet, so we're in this together. So this is just gonna be a quick one today because I wasn't planning on shooting this so soon, actually. The computer actually arrived 14 days ahead of the shipping schedule, so good job, Apple. All right, just gonna hide back here for a little bit. All right, and I'm gonna neatly fold this instead of just crumpling it and throwing it away like I did on the live broadcast. And of course the, uh, the static wrap or whatever this is called is on here so we don't get the full effect yet. But I can already kind of see it. All right, let's peel it off. Oh, this is interesting. The EyeSight camera has like a dedicated circle cut around it because they can't put the nano texture glass in front of the camera. I'll just beam it into your face there. You can already tell just by looking at the reflections that the light is more diffused. It has more of that frosted look because the glass is, I don't know what the technical term is, but etched, we'll just say, in such a way where the light bounces off of it and scatters more, which reduces glare. So that's what got me excited, but I did have a YouTube comment say that Although the glare is reduced, text looks kind of fuzzier. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna be okay with that trade-off, but we'll compare the reflecti reflectivity <laughs> um, between the two, and we'll also compare text sharpness. Because honestly, if text isn't sharp, I'm not gonna like that. I would rather go with the regular glossy display then. But first impressions, it looks really beautiful with that nice like frosted glass kind of look. I also heard that you can only clean the nano texture glass with one specific type of cloth that Apple says to clean it with. And I have not seen that yet ever in video or anything. I didn't really look though. I wanted to kind of save all this for myself, but I'm guessing it's in here somewhere and yep, this is new. I've never seen this in an Apple box before, but I'm guessing this is the proprietary cloth you need to use to clean, to clean that screen. Cause I guess it's just really fragile or something. But uh, yeah, let's have a look. Yeah, that looks like a slightly different material than what you would normally get. And you gotta use that, ooh, that's smooth. Oh, oh yeah, that's smooth. Yeah, I guess you use that to clean the display. All right, well again, I'm gonna try to keep this in like as pristine condition as possible because again, if I don't like this computer, well, the display, uh, I have to return it. The computer itself though is badass other than that you know, AMD glitch, you know, everything else is really solid. Again, check out my review episode. It was pretty cool. I just wanna see if the instructions say, like, do not use any other type of cloth on this screen. Stickers. Oh, yep, there it is, right there. Cleaning the display for additional polishing cloths, con cloths, it's been a long week. For additional polishing cloths, contact AppleCare. They'll give you more cloths, that's so freaking cool. But yeah, okay, I guess you can use isopropyl alcohol on here. I did not think you could, but I got plenty of that lying around. So now, let's compare them side by side. Hi, all right, so here we have the glossy display, and here we have the nano texture display, but that was probably pretty clear at this point. As you can see, we're kinda really reflective over here, and over here, the light is nice and soft, now I'm gonna bust out my handy dandy little LED. You may remember this guy from my pro stand episode. Good times. Let's take a look. And I have a monitor set up as well so I can also see what the reflection looks like from your point of view. So, yep. It's not exactly a mirror. It's not supposed to be. It's slightly darker. I think also there's like a bit more blue in the hue because when this like anti-reflective or anti-glare coating filters out light, the blue hues escape still. But yeah, it's 
definitely better than what it was like in the like early Apple glossy display days. Those were pretty bad, but still pretty reflective. On here, uh, yeah, it's just like a nice soft spotlight. Pretty reflective, nice and diffused. Let's do it from like this distance here. Yeah, so you can see the light, just like I said earlier, it scatters more, so it's spread out more, but it's more soft and less like bright. And over here, it's more concentrated. I think we all knew who was gonna win this little test, the nano texture glass. But now, the ultimate determining factor, how does text and other fine details look on the, the nano texture glass here? Because that is going to make it or break it for me. But thankfully, Apple has an amazing, completely 100% money back, 14 day guarantee. Thank goodness. So, let's boot this thing up and try it out. Mmm, you just gotta love that fresh Apple product smell. Okay, yeah, the desktop just logged in here. And, I mean, it looks really good. Like, it's so cool that I have these lights up here and everything, and the glare is just super, super, super subtle. So, that is really cool. I'm kind of torn, to be honest, because it's really cool that there's, like, no glare, and everything still looks beautiful, but yes, text is super, super, super slightly softer. And there's a little super subtle texture you can see, especially on brighter images. Man, I'm a little stuck. I don't really know which one I wanna stick with. It feels like there's an extra layer of material that I just wanna rip off of this thing. And in a way, there kind of is, but there isn't. It's still the same glass. It's just, I don't know, etched differently or whatever. This is a trickier decision than I thought it would be. <laughs> um, honestly, I'll keep testing it out, but I think I'm gonna return this one. So here's the thing. Without business discounts and stuff, it's an extra $500 for the nano texture glass, but I think you're probably better off, like what I said in my first impressions, better off not doing the nano texture, saving the 500 bucks and just controlling your room, adjust your office or whatever, so there's no light just beaming and reflecting stuff off of your display. But I guess if you go with the nano texture, you're probably gonna be working more with images than with text, I would assume. So it's probably not a bad trade-off. Now, if you were like into typography or writing, then yeah, then you probably wouldn't wanna go the nano texture route. Okay, so my demons and I talked it over and the consensus is I'm 99% sure I'm gonna return this. So, I'll keep testing it a little bit more. Follow me on Twitter if you're not already because I'll post some follow-ups there. But yeah, it's kind of nice, but the trade-off doesn't make it worth it to me. Plus the extra 500 bucks super doesn't make it worth it to me. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me just on this quick little experiment here. And hey, it was worth trying, right? Apple has an easy return policy. But I still want to hear everyone else's thoughts. So let me know what you think if you've tried this out in person before. But yeah, that's all I got for today. It was just a quick little experiment. Thanks for sticking with me. Catch the crazy and pass it on.